if you ask my dad and my sister, okay, if you ask my dad, I did a live, uh, uh, Instagram live with my dad on his birthday and he finally agreed. He never wanted to do it. Finally, he agreed to do a live and we had fun together. It's on uh, one of my YouTube channels, but he's finally agreed to do an interview. He's willing to sit down here. He keeps pushing back, but I'm trying to get him to finally agree to do this. My dad would tell you, I was probably the shyest kid in school. Very shy. I was a shy kid. Uh, I would always hide behind my dad's leg. I was that kid. There was this, people would make fun of me because I would always go like this. This was a sign when I was shy. My head would go down and I would do one of these things. Everybody knew those, you know, mannerisms that Pat had. But we went to Germany and my parents got a divorce. That's the best thing that happened to me. Here's why. In Germany at that refugee camp, uh, I didn't have a father figure. And I was with my sister and uh, my mom. My sister's uh, six years older than me. And at that event in Germany for that year and a half that I was there, I had no choice. My back was against the wall and you kind of had to realize that, uh, look, for 10 years you live with a man in your household that's protected you. He ain't here anymore. And you're in a country where you, you don't speak the language. You're living at a refugee camp with people from Yugoslavia at that time, you know, Poland, Czech, all these other people, Albanian, Afghanistan, Pakistan, and you're all together. It's pretty ugly. It's not a you know, beautiful situation. I learned very quickly that you cannot be naive. The world isn't perfect. You know, I, I tell my son, I said, you know, Dylan, almost everybody likes you. He says, dad, you mean some people don't like me? I said, of course, not everybody's going to like you, but almost everybody likes you. He said, so, daddy, you don't think everybody likes you? I said, oh, buddy, I promise you more people like you than they like me. A lot of people don't like me and that's okay. Why don't people like you? I said, we have to learn that. I learned that in Germany. Not everybody wants the best for you. And that's okay. You can't be naive in the marketplace. So, so that kind of made me a little bit tough to realize, hey, be a little bit careful before you do business with anybody. Be a little bit careful because you get a guy to be too comfortable with your sister. Be a little bit careful before a man comes into your household and it's your mom and your sister there. Keep your eye out. You know what I'm saying? You don't need to play video games. If a man comes in your household, turn off the video game, go sit right next to your mom and just watch the man see why he's here. You know, that lens kind of gave that protection, right? 